Cell phones can be very distracting. We know that. And we could be spiritual Luddites and say, hey, I'm only going to have a dumb phone because uh, these just are no good. They're from the devil. But we don't want to do that. Christ is on his throne, and it is his reign that makes the amazing technologies we see today possible. He gives gifts to men, allows us to do amazing things as human beings because the God-man is king of the earth. And so we've got to be able to, we can't just write off cell phones. Uh, there ought to be a way to use them to be uh, spiritually productive, to redeem the time, not just a distraction. So I've been looking over the last couple of years, okay, how can I be uh, more productive, not just frustrated with my cell phone use? And I've got four apps I want to show you. The first one's obvious. It's the Uversion app. But uh, I've, ha I've used this off and on. And this is probably obvious uh, for everybody. But the, the reading plans are very handy. It's very nice to be able to keep up where you are. And kind of allows you to be in multiple places in Scripture reading along maybe you read have a reading plan that you do with your kids or with your spouse and not lose track of those because that's kind of my big frustration with Bible apps in general so the reading plans are very nice I would recommend that highly I went a long time without using them uh, I think that was a mistake another one which is less popular is the Bible me app and the way this app works is now when if you were testing these words would not be on the screen but you just tap one letter and it gives you the whole word so you're kind of able to say the verse in your head and you get some confirmation that you know it on screen and so that's that's really neat it forces you to to pass it uh, again those grayed out words would not be visible uh, normally within the app that's kind of a practice screen. And then it is going to give you the verses uh, at uh, with less regularity as you've you've done it more times. This is an Android app. I'm sure there are other ones that do this. I, I doubt it's on iOS, but I know there's there's going to be some out there for iOS. The next two uh, I want to show you are kind of just generally uh, productivity apps. Uh, one is called Forest, and it is all about being present. And so you decide how long do you want to uh, pl plant this tree for. And it's just something silly where you tell it you want to plant it, and uh, that kind of challenges you to be present, to not look at your phone, or you can set it's you know, what apps you can or cannot look at during that time. And you, if you meet that goal, you plant a tree. If you don't, then your tree dies. And so it's, it might seem kind of silly, but think about all the things that get you distracted on your phone. They're typically silly things. And so if you're kind of having trouble with some of those good intentions, it's just a, it's the little thing that help, encourages you to uh, this app especially encourages you to be present, to put down your phone, uh, or to be productive. It's good for either of those. So if I give up here, I kill my tree. It's sad, and that'll go in a garden. But one cool thing is if you grow enough trees, you can they'll even plant a real tree for you. You can kind of get points towards that. So it's just a kind of gamified way to encourage you to you know, perhaps play less games or uh, less social media. Another one is this habit, uh, loop habit tracker. There's many of these. I just started using it. I think it's pretty cool. So, for instance, I've been, I've got that Bible memory app, Bible Me, but I, I was consistent for a long time, and I've been once I got a bunch of verses on there, it kind of became this burden to go through them all, and so I became less consistent. And so the, um, and you know just laziness, right? Or tired. 
So I set myself this one. The question is, did you complete three verses today? Just set a daily goal. And then every day I can check that off and it'll let me know kind of my streaks and uh, you know, I'll get my graph to grow there. Uh, it's, it's a simple thing, but again, it's kind of the simple things that keep us distracted on our phones. And so little things like that can be helpful. And then that app also has a uh, bunch of different widgets, but I like these little widgets because they're just buttons you can press. So I just read uh, Christian Manifesto, a few pages of it. I didn't set my goal very high, but um, again, uh, I didn't. I didn't have to set it very high to improve what I've been doing in terms of reading books. So I just read it, and so I can click that button. It'll turn green. You notice that my family devotion button is still kind of grayed out. Uh, I, we did pray before bed, but we didn't get to that. We were doing. Uh, it's cleaning night. We're trying to get some stuff clean. So uh, I kind of waited too late, realized I hadn't done it. And uh, so hoping I can get a pretty good streak on that one, though. That would make me really happy to be consistent. So I think um, all of these worthwhile checking out. If you get frustrated, maybe you don't have an issue with that. Maybe you're less distractible than me. Fantastic. Maybe you're more distractible than me, in which case you definitely should check these out. And, uh, you know, don't just let your, don't just be frustrated at yourself for, you know, being too easily distracted by your phone. Uh, repent and, you know, you can take some practical steps to help you with those things. That's a, that's a good thing to do.